What do you do when you've made a mistake, especially like a really, really big mistake? What do you do about that? Well, if you're the left, you get out the old push broom and find the nearest big rug and get busy sweeping everything under it so everybody will just forget about it. Well, the CDC recently decided that it was time to do just that by quietly changing their standards for developmental milestones in early childhood development. Here's a pro tip, folks. Anytime a government agency does something, quote, quietly, you need to keep your head on a swivel because some bad shit's probably just now going down. Now, the way it works is this. Up until recently, childhood development milestones were set at what 50% of children could reach. Now it's 75%. And how did they do it? Well, they did it by expanding the age range to 15 and 30 month ranges. If you like math, and why would you? <laughs> the basic idea is that they're broadening the base of the model to lower emergent negativity in the results that are being seen. Now, if all of that sounds like a lot of gobbledygook, well, it's because it is, because I want you to focus on a couple of words. Emergent negativity, because that's the part that's really important here. Emergent means that something has emerged, popped up, appeared out of nowhere. So we have emergent negativity in the numbers on childhood development. Kids aren't meeting the standards as quickly as they used to. And guess when that emergence started to pop up? You're not going to believe this when I tell you, but it seems to be right about two years ago. You know, right around the time when a uh, COVID lockdown started and it looks bad. I mean, like really bad. Now, you might not think about it on a regular basis, but early childhood developmental milestones are critical to future educational success. And I mean that word educational, both inside and outside of the public education system, mostly outside of it, quite honestly. But think of the brain like a nice steak. Put a little salt and pepper on it. You pan sear both sides and then finish it in the oven over the course of about 25 years when the prefrontal, prefrontal cortex of their brain stops growing. Well, early childhood development, that's the searing part. You don't just bake the steak in the oven without that crucial first part. You got to seal in the juices, man. So now we have a situation where the lockdowns that the CDC created and uh, shares a huge chunk of the responsibility for creating uh, the, the, the this thing that is so harmful to kids. I mean, I know it's shocking, right? It's really shocking to you. But rather than own up to it and say, gee, we really didn't think that one through. Maybe, maybe the steak didn't get pan seared. Instead, they're broadening the scope of the developmental milestones themselves so the numbers will fall back down to a nice presentable level. They're sweeping it under the rug, folks. They're counting on the idea that the American people will just blindly go along and completely miss what they're doing. And the sad thing is, as we've seen over and over again, they're probably right. And I mean, you really want the icing on the cake? I should probably just stick with one food metaphor. You want the A1 sauce on the meat? Now that they're broadening this thing out, there will be more referrals and more government programs, which means, of course, that more taxpayer money will be shelled out. And where does this mysterious taxpayer money come from? Well, I got bad news for you. Check your wallet. That's right. They made a colossal mistake that affected American children. They're covering it up by making a further colossal mistake that will affect more children, and they're going to get you to pay for it. These folks are freaking geniuses. And now I'm thoroughly pissed off and hungry for steak.